We're in the Yucatan Peninsula, south of Campeche in Mexico. And the predator that we're going after is called a Cotamundi. I didn't even know that Cotamundis existed until about 10 years ago. I saw my very first one actually in Arizona at a water hole while I was hunting cow's deer. After I saw that first one in Arizona, I knew one day I wanted to try and take a Cotamundi. We're sitting in this water hole and we're seeing all kinds of crazy bird life. A carousel, I think it is, it's this big huge bird comes walking by, doves. The toucan had this huge bill and it made me start laughing. I was thinking of the old Fruit Loops commercial. Follow your nose, it always knows. The secret to fruit, you know, whatever that old little thing was. It was like, this is so cool. I've never seen a toucan. Still no Coda Mondays. Hours go by and we are enjoying the bird life and I'm starting to think it's probably not gonna happen. That's all right. I've seen some Coda Mundi. Ryan's got two of them. Been a pretty incredible trip. And all of a sudden, I see my guide kind of stiffen up and he goes, Coda Mundi. And he's pointing. I turn and literally there's a Coda Mundi that is snuck into this water hole without any of us hearing him. And he's now 10 yards away. He starts to come out on the limb and stops and he starts sniffing the air again. And the guide's pointing at his nose. He's like, shoot, shoot. And the Coda Mundi does this a couple times. I'm like, oh, this isn't. This is about to go bad. And sure enough, about the time I'm thinking I'm gonna have to shoot, the coat of money turns and starts to go. I make a snap decision, throw up the shotgun, shoot, feel like it's a good shot. Coat of money sails off the tree and takes off through the brush. Go, 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 go. Now it's crazy. The guys are bailing over the camo netting. They're running after the Coda Mundi. I jump over the netting. I'm looking to see if I can get another shot of the Coda Mundi. And then I don't hear any more rustle in the brush. She's Ryan says he saw it go down to the camera. And sure enough, the guy's calling me over and I can see the Coda Mundi stretched out in the leaves of the jungle. Coda Mundi, look at that pretty rascal right there. This is so cool. I just shot a beautiful Coda Mundi here in the jungles of the Yucatan Peninsula, here in the southern part of Mexico. Really, really cool, beautiful, crazy looking animal. Big long tail. It's like part monkey, part raccoon, part possum. It's a little bit of everything. And I'm so pumped. It's so cool looking at a new animal. And that's what these are for us. These are aggressive little predators. Arturo was telling us that they fight amongst themselves all the time, that a lot of times the males are all scarred up from fighting. By looking at the teeth, you can tell they are built for predating on other animals. They've got huge canines, sharp teeth going all the way back so they can hold on to stuff. I'm sure they use them for fruit, nuts. Basically, they're omnivores. They're gonna eat anything that they can get a hold of. Whether that's a fruit or whether that's a small animal that they can catch, they're gonna eat it. Really cool little predator, and I was tickled to have my first one. 